You were right there. Chaos going over some hard drive storage options that you got. Why you may use them. Why you might not want to use them. So hang on in there. We're going over some interesting facts. Okay, so you're going to be asking me, Chaos, what do you mean hard drive storage options? You know, you got your three and a half inch drives, you got your SSDs, that kind of thing. Yes and no. You want to know what you're going to be using it. So the three main options you got is a three and a half inch standard hard drive, which has disc platters with an arm that reads the disc. So the slight issue is... If you've got a bit of data here and a bit of data there, or data, however you want to pronounce it, the arm moves back and forth and in and out slightly, but it's got to wait for the disc to spin for it to actually read it. However, these are very, very, very cheap. Okay, This one terabyte only cost me uh, £20. Now, the next option, or mainstream option, is an SSD. Now, the thing with an SSD is there's no mechanical parts. It is as fast as you could possibly have, you know, dusting over certain figures because it's all flash storage. It's all digital. It literally reads and writes so, so, so much quicker than a standard hard drive. However, the price is extortionate for what storage you got. This drive here is about £80 is about four times the price of this hard drive here if you're lucky if you get these premium hard drive uh, premium ssds they're even more now there has been some that have been brought out a little while ago which are hybrid drives which are sshds which are literally this and this made a love child they then bore out a standard say one terabyte hard drive but it's got eight megabytes of this storage now you may go eight megabytes that's not actually that much it's not however the software that's built into the drives is very clever it learns what files are most often used so say for example you use that hybrid drive as your main drive for your operating system documents things like that like a lot of people would do it would learn what files are most used for booting up your drive booting up your most common programs like google chrome um, steam whatever you would usually use so it becomes a bit more snappy over time so put that in retrospect i've done a little bit of research now standard hard drive say it boots up your windows in about 50 to 60 seconds SSD, anything, you know, shorter than 20 seconds, 10 to 20 seconds. A hybrid drive is slap bang in the middle. They're normally about 30 to 40 seconds. Some people may dispute it, but from the facts and the surveys and stuff like that, that is the average. So you can see the difference and the price is slap bang in between as well. I can get a hybrid drive, same storage as this one terabyte, for 40 to 45 pound. Now, you may be asking, what situations are best? SSD, hands down, are best for your boot drive, your most commonly used operating system, programs, games, things like that, that you want them to boot. However, that's why you don't want a massive amount of storage, because they're expensive. Your games, your documents, your um, photos of funny cat videos, music, whatever, Put it on a standard three and a half inch drive. Now, hybrid drives are an awkward one to place. I myself wouldn't say they're massively useful for desktops unless you're, you know, you're squeezing that kind of money. You can't afford an SSD, but you want more performance than a standard hard drive. Go for one. I would say they are best for a laptop and a notebook for one major reason. Most laptops and notebooks have one storage bay in them so say for example you've got a 500 gig standard hard drive in there but you want to get some more performance out an ssd 500 gig is not going to be cheap okay it's going to be very efficient very quick but it's not going to be cheap you get a 500 gig hybrid drive you're going to get a more snappy response you're going to get the storage and it's going to be more reasonable price 
So that's the kind of three areas that I would say you want you have your hard drives put. So I hope the video has been helpful. Sorry that the screen went dark for a sec there. Hope it has been helpful. So a quick recap, SSDs, boot drive, standard hard drives is for your games, your documents, your files, everything like that. Hybrid drives are more for if you're lacking base, okay? So if you want to see more videos like this, like and comment down below because I'll be interested in doing them, but I want to see what you think about it. And if you've had different um, experiences with SSDs, with hybrid drives, things like that, let me know down below. Everyone be very interested. So as always, stay. You all take care. Chaos out. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see the other videos in the playlist, you've got the left hand option. If you want to see the content that I have on my channel, you then have that middle option there. And if you'd like to join the Chaotic Crew, please don't be afraid to click that button on the right hand side. You're more than welcome.